Hi students, I am Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the signed magnitude binary numbers. So simply, or signed numbers. So in the previous lectures, we had discussed what is a binary number. A binary number is a number system where they are using only two type of digits. They are 0 and 1. And these binary numbers are the basic principles of the working of digital electronics as well as the computer devices. As we all know, in the number system, we can deal with signed numbers as well as unsigned numbers. So there are two signs in representing a number. They are positive and negative signs. So as we all know, in the binary number system, there are only two digits. They are 0 and 1. Then how we can represent a signed bit or a signed number in an electronic device? For that, let us consider an example. For example, if we want to convert this number 25, a decimal number 25 into a binary number what we are doing is continuously dividing this number by 2 and the final result is converted in binary number so the 25 is continuously dividing by 2 25 divided by 2 results in 12 with a remainder of 1 when 12 is divided by 2 that results in 6 with a remainder of 0 when 6 is divided by 2 results in 3 with a remainder of 0 when 3 is divided by 2, which will result in 1 with a remainder of 1. And when 1 is divided by 2, that results in 0 with a remainder of 1. And the decimal 25 is equivalent to the binary. And the binary is taken in the order from bottom to the top. That is, 25 is equivalent to 11001. And if we want to represent plus 25 or minus 25 in a binary number system, this type of representation is known as a signed representation. So as we discuss, the binary numbers have only two different signs or two different bits. They are 0 and 1. For representing a positive and negative number, the positive symbol is represented by using the bit 0 as well as the negative symbol is represented by using the bit 1. So representing a positive symbol, we are using the bit 0 as well as for representing a negative symbol, we are using the symbol or the bit 1. So for representing the 25, in binary, the representation is 11001. So if you want to represent a plus 25 or a positive 25, what we have to do is convert this decimal into binary and the first bit, that is a MSB bit, will show the sign of that particular binary number. So the MSB should be 0 for a positive number. So the first bit or the MSB should be 0 for a positive number. So if you want to represent plus 25, the MSB should be 0. And for representing minus 25, the first bit for the minus sign, the MSB should be 1. And the rest should be 11001. Okay. For representing a signed binary number, the first bit should represent the sign should represent the sign and the rest will represent the number in binary the number in binary the sign for the zero represents the positive sign and the one represents the negative sign First bit or the MSB will show whether that particular number is positive or negative. The so 0 represents the positive sign and 1 represents the negative sign. So if we are considering a 8 bit binary number, the first bit or the MSB bit should be the sign bit and the rest of the 7 bit should represent that particular number. So as we discuss in the binary number system, for an n bit binary, the range of numbers always ranging from 0 to 2 raised to n minus 1. That is, for example, suppose the n is 4. Suppose n is equal to 4. Then the range of numbers will always from 0 to 2 raised to 4 minus 1. That is, 0 to 2 raised to 4 is 16. 16 minus 1 is 
15, the range will always be from 0 to 15. That is, if we are using a 4-bit representation, if we are using a 4-bit representation, then the range will always from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, etc. up to 1, 1, 1, 1. So this 0, 0, 0, 0 represents the decimal 0 as well as that this four ones will represent the decimal number 15. So the range is always represented from 0 to 2 raised to n minus 1 in a binary representation. But in the case of a signed binary number, since we are using the first digit as a sign bit or, or the A must be as a sign bit, then the range have a difference. The range of binary numbers is from minus of 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 to plus 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1. So as in the previous example, we are considered n is equal to 4. Then for a normal binary, the range is from 2 raised to 4 minus 1. That is 0 to 15. But in a signed case, the range is from minus 2 raised to 4 minus 1 minus 1 to plus 2 raised to 4 minus 1 minus 1. 2 raised to 4 minus 1 is 3, that is 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 3 is 8, that is 8 minus 1, 8 minus 1 is 7, then minus 7 to plus 7. So in the case of a signed binary number, the range is limited to minus 7 to plus 7 for a 4-bit binary representation. But if we are not considering the sign bit, we can represent that number from 0 to 15. So this is the difference between representation of range of these binary numbers. So dear students, there may arise a question. The question is represent minus 26 in 8-bit binary minus 26 in 8-bit binary representation so first of all what we have to do is convert this 26 the decimal number 26 to its binary equivalent so we are continuously dividing 26 by 2 26 by 2 will result in 13 with the remainder of 0 and 13 is divided by 2, that will result in 6 with a remainder of 1. When 6 is divided by 2, 3 with a reminder of 0. And 3 by 2, 1 with a reminder of 1. And finally, the result will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So the equivalent, the 26 to the base 10 is equivalent to 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So here the question is, we have to represent this binary in 8-bit representation. So count the number of bits. We are having the bit number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we are having only 5 bits. The rest of the bit towards the MSB should be put as 0. So that is, the number is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Here the bit positions are. So here the bit positions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. The rest of the bit positions should be represented or should be put as 0. So 0 here. We are putting the zero in the sixth position we are putting zero in the seventh position and for the eighth position the m must be position should always be reserved for the sign of that particular binary number here the question is we have to represent minus 26 so for the minus sign for the plus sign we are representing zero and for the minus sign we are representing one so for representing minus the 1 is put in the MSB position, so the final result of minus 26 in 8-bit representation is 1, 0, 0, 1, 
If the question is just represent minus 26 in binary, then the answer will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is the equivalent or binary equivalent of 26. For representing minus 26, what we have to put is put 1, that is the sign in the MSB position that will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. That is a simple representation of minus 26 in binary. And if you want to represent this minus 26 in 8-bit representation, the representation will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. In the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the complement number system. In the very next lecture, we are discussing the once complement number system. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.